Hi, Vortex. Fiona is being fed gasoline. <sighs> She asked me if we could go to the gasoline store, and I said, yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. Let's do this sound. I like this sound a lot. No, no, not that one. This one. my friends until the end turns out that wasn't true after all and I don't think it's just about politics I don't think it's just about the left right paradigm I think it's about the sheepdom the sheepery and you'll find that most people, they fall right in line. And there are people that I thought, I was so convinced, oh no, they're not like that. And it makes me sad that I was wrong about them. And it seems like all the stuff that I'm right about is just so horrible. myself because they can't help it, they can't help it, they can't help it. It's just the way they're wired, and this is the way I'm wired. We're just different. And I'm pretty 
pretty certain that everything that they tell us is good is actually bad and i'm pretty certain that everything they say is bad is actually good and i'm pretty certain that everything is the opposite the opposite the opposite but good luck getting other people to see it because their entire reality is contingent upon all the bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, their re entire reality is contingent upon what they've been told to believe. And they don't have the wherewithal to question anything. But they call me crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, only twenty dollars. That's pretty good. Twenty dollars and fifteen cents for a little bit over ten gallons of gas. Almost eleven gallons of gas. That's pretty good. Fiona's awesome like that. My friend Luke called Fiona a slut, and I was very upset. Fuck you. She is not a slut. She, if she is, she's a slut for me, okay? And only me. <laughs> Can you imagine just being a whore for one person, right? <laughs> yeah. black keys that are missing. I'm still playing them anyway. <sighs> okay. We'll see here. Oh god, that sounds bad. You see, uh, the sound, the sound that I'm doing only sounds good with certain keys. With a piano, you can play anything, but with a lot of these other ones, like jazz organ, pipe organ, Human voice, which does not sound like a human voice. Is that a human voice? Do human voices sound like that? What human do you know sounds like that? That's a lie. This keyboard's a lie. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I do love playing music though. It gives me life. That's why God wants us to sing the Psalms. That's why we want it. He, he wants us to use the harp and play music for him. That's why these instruments are created because if we can make music, that, that's literally like the most spiritual thing that we can do. Like, even all that communist propaganda from, like, the 60s is still good, you know? Even if it's, like, pushed for, you know, the psychedelic socialism kind of experience. Like, I'm a huge fan of Jefferson Airplane. I don't care what anybody says. Surrealistic Pillow is one of the greatest albums ever made, okay? I don't care if it was just propaganda. It's really, really good. <laughs> I mean, the song White Rabbit was, like, probably their most popular song, aside from Somebody to Love. The, both of those songs are off that album. But, yeah, I would say White Rabbit's their most popular song. And uh, I think we all know what that song's about. Anybody that's done any research on <laughs> government experiments involving LSD. Um, you know, LSD was such a great thing. Albert Hoffman's awesome. But it's like any great thing, you know, you know, kind of like God, any great thing, like religion. Religion can be such a great thing. And then really terrible, terrible people that do terrible, terrible things get involved with it, make it political, and then fuck it up. Like literally every good thing on this planet 
has been corrupted and corroded by pieces of garbage that just use it to make money and taint it. And then a lot of people are turned away from that really good thing because of that. But anyway. I don't know if I've said this before, but I really want to be like the Jerry Garcia of politics. Like I want, <laughs> I want to create an experience for people, but I, I don't, I don't want there to be any, uh, well, I think it's really hard to like do any kind of art that's not some form of propaganda because if you're passionate about it, it's somebody's propaganda. You know, so for example, if I were to do a song where I'm just bitching about, um, you know, politics or whatever, it's like, well, that somebody could use that and turn that into propaganda, you know, and, and that's the sad fact about reality is, you know, what did I just say? What did I just say? People will always take a good thing and ruin it. But, you know, I still listen to music that was written by Marxists, you know, and I still greatly enjoy it. And, and nobody can take that away from me. Nobody can take away the experience that I have when I listen to The Clash. Nobody can take away the experience that I have when I listen to these bands from the 60s that were totally pushing that Marxist crap. But, like, you know, I don't think that the idea of community is a bad thing. I think that that's actually one of the few really, really, really good ideas. Um from the left and treating people like equals. That's good too. Everybody likes to preach about equality, but nobody knows what that means. Um, but equality is more of a principle than it is something that you can, you know, force on people or implement through politics or policy or whatever you want to call it. Um, equality is something that, that you, you know, inherently you exhibit that, you know, in your own personal life. So for example, you know, if I'm working with somebody and I don't like them, I'm still going to treat them with respect, even if I don't agree with them, or even if I don't want to be around them, I'm not going to be mean to them. I'm not going to be ugly. I'm not going to be rude. Um, and really the only time that I'm ever that way is if people are that way enough times that I just I'm tired of putting up with their shit, but I don't know, man. I wish people were more principled. But anyway, when it comes to music, I think that that's like the most spiritual thing. It is truly a gift, and I don't want to do stand-up comedy anymore. I mean, if, if I do stand-up, I want it to, to have music involved. Stand-up's dead anyway. It really is. Like, I, I mean, you can't have comedy without culture, and this culture's on its way out. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go home. <laughs>